Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So did you know that you can take your armature of your avatar and make it into a fully functional uh, working avatar? You might have seen this around or you might have tried to do it before. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. It's, re it's a really silly thing and it's actually really easy to do. So let me show you how to do it. We're going to head to our Unity, of course, and we're going to grab our body of the avatar that you're trying to get the armature from. You're going to right click, show an explorer. You're going to copy this and you're going to paste it on your desktop. Next, let's boot up Blender. Press A and delete everything. Now go File, Import, FBX, and you're going to import the model. We're going to click on the body and just delete the mesh until you just see the bones like this. You're going to make sure you have the armature selected. You're going to go on Scripting and you're going to go onto the link that I'll leave a link in the description down below. And you're going to scroll down and you're going to copy this uh, second thing uh, you're going to copy this script here, starting from import by, and then scroll all the way down till here. You're going to paste that into here, press this little play button, and then go OK, and then go back on the layout. <clears throat> and now, as you can see, there's a slight different armature that is our avatar now. After that, you're going to go File, Export, FBX, name it whatever you want. And also make sure here on the right side, you extend the armature and tick off Add Leaf Bones, and then Export FBX. You're going to drag it from your desktop into your Unity here. Uh, select your avatar, select its body. And then where it says mesh body here, you just simply want to drag in uh, the body here. You want to drag the body off of the FBX that you just imported and, and replace it with this body. If the body becomes invisible or if it disappears, you're going to select this armature and you're going to tick off convert units and then apply and you should be ready to go. And one final thing, select the original mesh of the body and where it says material size, make sure that it's just set to one because you're realistically just going to only need one. And that's it. With this, you're able to put any material that you want. And here you have and now you have a workable armature into an avatar. This works with any avatar. And uh, yeah, you can do some pretty silly things with it. Hope that this video helped and I hope that I showed you something new, interesting and funny. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around.